Hello everyone, happy Saturday. The angels have asked me to do something a little bit different today, so I won't be um, channeling in an angel into me that is a different um, person to talk. I'm going to be doing the talking. However, I will be channeling an angel message for you. Um, I don't know if this might be the new way for things to go because I have to be really honest with you, I do find those sessions are very tiring and I think um, because I'm quite unwell at the moment I think they're even more tiring for me and although the angels I was talking to angels about it and I said well shouldn't the frequency be higher therefore it makes me feel better they said well actually it's really difficult when you're in a space where your body is trying to heal itself and it's going through a lot um, sometimes doing this work can take it out of you so They've suggested that we do something a little bit different. So they've got me to write down some um, topics I'm going to talk about on my paper here, which are um, going to be channeled in from the angels, okay? And they give me four um, titles. So we're going to have four headings of things that we're going to talk about. So the first thing that they want to talk about, the angels want to talk about new beginnings. They want to talk about finding space, imperfections and decisions, and I will leave it all to them. They are their titles. They gave them to me earlier, which I did start a video, but then I had a bit of a blooper and so I, I started again. So yeah, you won't get to see that. <laughs> or you might one day as a blooper, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so what um, we're going to do first is going to tune you in and then we're going to go into this um, messages with the angels and I'm going to channel those in for you and we'll see what they want to say. So what I'd like you to do, as long as you're not operating any machinery, doing anything that requires your full attention, is just place both your hands on your heart and just breathe in fully. Holding for a few moments and then breathing out fully. And breathing in again fully. Holding and breathing out fully. Breathing in fully. Holding and breathing out fully. And just relax your body and just relax your system and just Give yourself time, maybe get a lovely drink if you haven't already. And give yourself time and space to connect in with this message that the angels want to bring to you. Okay, angels, so let's um, bring this first one in. So it's New Beginnings. So in the title, New Beginnings, okay, angels. Okay, so the angels are talking about how... Well, they talked a little bit about this during the readings, actually doing the tarot readings for the week. They talked about how we as humans, we can so often misconceptualize what they mean about new beginnings. And they want us to recognize what new beginnings really mean when they talk about it. So they want to kind of clarify what new beginnings are and how we're all always having them. A new beginning, as far as the angels are concerned, is every second of the day. They say within the human family experience, we're always experiencing things as new beginnings. Now, the reason they say it like that is this is the piece that they wanted to actually explain. For angels, they don't have beginnings and endings because they can see everything all of the time. They can see, sorry, I've just got to get rid of this. My virus wears this idea to say something. Sorry, angels, sorry. So the angels are saying they can see everything. Everything is happening now. Everything, the past, the present, the future, it's all happening for them now. They can see all our decisions now, which is why they don't have new beginnings. But when they're talking to us about new beginnings, what they're saying is every moment is a new opportunity to become a different version of yourself. We're always being given the chance to recalibrate, to recycle, to recondition, to become new. To, be, to evolve ourselves, to improve ourselves. The angels are also saying that new beginnings are a space in you, a space in your cycle, a space in your energy field where you are able to take every moment that you've had before and crush it down if need be. So 
what the angels want me to tell you is when they say new beginnings when i do these readings what's been going on is the angels are telling me that many a time people are listening and looking out for something large and high scale well no this isn't what they're talking about they're talking about the fact that we have to have is, is have a good word angels okay we could they're saying we could um embrace the opportunity in the moment and we could change and recalibrate our life through this beginning when they're telling us there's something new coming and there's a new beginning highlighted what they mean is that it's an opportunity for us to shift and change our vibration our consciousness and our energy and spiritually infuse a new divine understanding that changes us on a fundamental level the angels are now saying that think about when you were a child you're not the same now as when you were a child think about when you were um, a teenager are you the same now as when you're a teenager i mean if you if you are a teenager you will be but if you've grown out of that stage then you won't be will you so the angels are saying that this is kind of what they're talking about they're talking about the fact that every day is a new phase Every day is a new space for you to say, I am someone new and I'm going to embrace this. So it's just about understanding that. And the angels are also asking me to say that if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments and I will ask them and they will give you their answer to what you're maybe confused about or what you may not understand. Okay, so that's the first part, new beginnings. So we're going into the next heading. The next heading is finding space. Um, I have no idea what these um, titles mean, so the angels are just literally going to have to drop the, the energy, the vibration and the messages through to me. So angels, what is this about finding space? What are, what are we um, needing to learn through finding space? So they're saying, the angels are saying that human family would be well versed or advised if they were to make provisions to find times in their life where space is a clean slate does that make sense they're talking about having life where you give yourself spaces finding space is being in the space of understanding this is all about space they're saying okay we're going to start at the very beginning and saying in your body there is space in front of you there is space your thoughts have space between them if you allow them to space happens when you take an in-breath there's a small pause before you breathe out there's space space happens when you meditate space is the space in between it's the times where you are able to understand things from a deeper energy okay what they're asking you to do here is the angels are saying to me to say it would be great if every single human member of the family of humans would find times every week but really ideally every day where we give ourselves time to recalibrate our bodies, our emotions and our feelings. Now what they're saying is to do this, we need to step into deep, deep vibratory variations of self-care and we need to give ourselves those moments of pleasure. So what is a moment of pleasure for you? Is it drinking a glass of wine? Is it having a really warm mug of coffee or tea? Is it eating your favourite chocolate cookie? I haven't said all good things there. So maybe it's like eating a punnet of strawberries. It's a bit healthier, right? But the angels are talking about you doing something that actually brings you a real deep sense of pleasure. Now, as they talk about this pleasure, the angels are also saying this is also about activating your sacral chakra. And they're saying when you activate and you root into that sacral chakra and allow that to root into your root chakra and you have a beautiful strong base on earth, then you can have space where you can hear the divine talking to you. They want each of us to connect deeper into this divinity because we can raise into what we experience and experience better feelings and emotions so long as we're in a place where we give ourselves 
room for quietude. It's a sense of quietude is what they're talking about. And they're saying through being in that space of feeling that you, things can be calm, that you can be in a warm, peaceful state, then you'll be able to shift. They're talking about vibrationally shifting your life into a place. Sorry, it's really distracting because I've got a window there. It's really busy considering it's Sunday. Sorry, angels. Sorry, I'll go back. They're talking to a space where you can recalibrate through, say, these pauses that you give yourself, these say, meditative spaces, these spaces where you stop. Now, the angels are telling me if you can take at least five to 60 seconds where you don't think about anything at all and they will be beautiful places where you can find space. Okay, right. I'm just going to pause for two seconds. Our next heading is imperfections. The angels um, have said to me, they started talking to me a little bit about this already and they said that often we are so honed in as the human family to imperfections within our bodies or within our speech say for example or within the way we look um i didn't like my voice i used to really dislike my voice i'd never be able to do this if i hadn't got happy with my voice and it was one of my things that i thought was an imperfection but the angels are saying to me to say there are no imperfections there's actually no such thing we've created this conceptualization and it's nonsensical there are no imperfections. The thing is, because we've created all these um, possessions and things, books and, and cards and, you know, with pens, we can say this doesn't write so well, it doesn't come out properly, so that's imperfect. So that gives that, that word a meaning. We can say that there's a chip in this glass, there's a slight imperfection. We could say, oh, there's, a, there's a, an anomaly on page 47 of this book here and that's that's an imperfection but the angels are saying there's no such thing in in the way the angels speak about things with you and with regard to our person as imperfections we were all created in the image of the divine we were all made all of us were made in the loving aspect of light and because of this there are no imperfections if you do feel that you're looking at yourself judging yourself or believing not so good things about yourself then you're in the negative vibration of imperfection you are in that imperfection energy because you're believing that's existence they are saying that things like worthiness lack of confidence um inner self-love worth um uh, esteem these kind of things they fall on this area of not feeling perfect enough now when we take the word imperfection out and we bring in the word perfect like the angels have just said there is no such thing as perfect, is there? Once you take that, how can your body um, respond to this need that you have to be in perfection when there isn't such a thing as perfection? How can your body do that? The angels are also saying that the perfect you is here already. The perfect you is divinely created. And the angels are saying, even if you've made mistakes in your life that you think make you imperfect, then you're looking at this the wrong way because you are the sum of all your parts. You are the sum of all your experiences. You are all of that. And the angels are saying that you, the, the, what they're wanting to give us here, all of us, is this sense of realizing that you are a child of the universe. You are the child of the divine. You are perfectly beautiful and right in all ways. Even if you've done bad things, and I know that's difficult for some to hear because the question would then be, well, why is God not punishing those who do bad things? Or why is it that there are, there are people that are doing crimes and things that are not in good resonance. Well, the angels are saying, still, you came here with a divine calibration and all of us are correct and accurate in the expression that we're expressing in, because even if we're doing bad things, and um, obviously I don't want to say, this is for me personally, obviously good things are, good things are, are we need to be in good energy. However, even if people are doing bad things, they can learn. I mean, you've had, 
Jethro, um, not Jethro, because that wouldn't work. <laughs> You've had people that go into prison who've done awful crimes, and then they realise they find God, and then they go out, come out, and they become something a higher order, and they start helping people, teaching youngsters not to go and commit the same kind of crimes they did. That's what the angels are talking about. That's what they want you to know. Right, our next heading is decisions. Now, the angels um, wanted me to bring this bit out, and this is the energy and the message they want to bring you about decisions. To be fully self-empowered and a fully actualized human being, each one of us needs to make decisions from our own central core nervous system, our own system, right? What happens a lot in the human family, the angels are saying, is that we're all deferring our decisions outside in order to feel better about these decisions. However, we need to be happy with the choices and the decisions that we make as we move through life. Why this is, is because when we're presented with life's opportunities, life's choices, life's things, they're for our individual conceptualization. They're so that we can raise into a new calibration of ourselves, a new evolved version of ourselves. Now, if we defer the decision to another person, what happens is we lose the chance of that evolution of our soul consciousness. So for example, say you want to release something, um, say you want to release a negative energy. Okay, let, uh, let's have an example. Angels, can I use one of my examples? They're saying yes. So with my ex, for example, I needed to release that relationship. I couldn't make that decision while I was constantly deferring to other people. I couldn't leave him while I was making that decision on how other people might feel. While I was talking to friends who would say, well, that's maybe not the thing. Maybe you need to work it out. Maybe you need to go for counselling. No, that's not how decisions need to be made. The, the moment I was able to make the decision was when I made it completely on my own. Okay. And that was when the decision was a peaceful, happy highly acknowledged and trusted decision that I made. The angels are now saying often what happens is we make decisions that we defer to others. Now, more often than not, they're not saying this is the rule, they are saying more often than not. What happens is you don't like that decision because it wasn't yours and it wasn't theirs to make, it was yours to make and you made it inaccurately because you took someone's advice, okay? So when the angels are talking about decisions, what they're saying is, that it's not for deferment, it's for you to say to yourself, what do I actually want here? So you can ask other people what they want, yet when it comes to you, you need to make that decision fully from your own core. Then the other aspect of this decision is you need to trust yourself and be happy with the decision you made. The good thing about this is, that when you make a decision from your own standardized position in your own inner referencing internal referencing system the angels are saying that what happens is you there's less resentment and anger that gets kind of almost buffered out from you sort of sent out from you because you don't feel as if you're being pushed around anymore right so I, Eva I do this with my clients I do this with people I work with I often say well you need to make that decision this is about you. I need you to take control of this aspect. This isn't about me. I do have my boundaries and there are some rules in like my courses I do and you need to show up for your sessions and that kind of thing. That's on you. If you don't, you're going to lose your money or you're going to lose the time because I won't be able to do it for you. There's these things. However, when it comes to the decision, I'm not telling you you need a session. You need to tell you you need a session. You need to say to you, I'm going to this course and it's going to work for me. I'm going to put my all into it. You see, often what happens, and the angels are bringing this in through decisions, it's really interesting and I like this. You go to something not wanting to go to it, or you don't apply yourself in something, you make the decision not to apply yourself because you're waiting for others to help you with that. You don't get out of it what you need. You won't get out of it what you need. You won't learn the thing you need to learn. You won't have the experience you're meant to have and you won't get the evolution and the shift that decisions are bringing you. So there you go, my, my angels and my lovelies. 
Um, thank you so much, Angels. Um, there you go. These were some messages from the Angels that they wanted to bring you these specific topics they wanted to talk to you about. And I felt that, yes, I could do that for them and would try it that way. As, as I said, the channeled readings, um, uh, the, the ones where I bring... Uh, um, beings within me, I'm finding them quite tiring at the moment. I'm probably going to come back to them later when maybe my operations happened or, or maybe I'll do some of these and some of those and we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. I won't have such big topics later. The angels are saying this was just a taster for you. Um, they're saying in future, they, if they do do these ones, you'll just get one topic and they'll talk a little bit on it, probably be about five or ten minutes so that you can get kind of into that topic but understand it from a smaller perspective so there you go my lovelies i don't know what they're saying but that's what they said right? so there you go if you got this far please do give me a thumbs up i would absolutely love to have you subscribe if you're called to do check out the videos above if you're interested and thank you so much for being here with me i am so appreciative of you if you've got any comments or um, uh, um opinions or thoughts about me doing the saturday angel messages like i have been or this angel message like i have today do let me know in the comments i'll be really grateful to hear what you think about it namaste everyone take care of yourselves and i will speak to you on monday big love have a lovely rest of the weekend take care and um enjoy it bye that's a love bye bye